Well, that looks better than what it did last time. But I've got all this here done, and as you can tell, this looks a lot better than what it did before. I got my plywood up under here. It's fastened into that other wood that's still strong. I built a whole new front section here all the way. Even here, this is all built better. What they had before was a tube of two, a tube of two, and paneling. That's what held all that together. Well, that's a two by six. I've got a two by three up here. Two by three down in this section. Uh, I got some, a little bit of plywood to bring it out just a little bit. I uh, got my gaps and everything done. So everything will line up good. Uh, I had to move this. I had it down too far. I had to move it up once to get in there. Uh, this gap here is going to be closed up because I have two pieces of fiberglass that goes up over this. But this is a lot stronger than what it was before. It is so much better. It shouldn't leak by the time I get done. I'm going to make sure everything's... Once this stuff gets a little leak in it and it rottens, it, it goes to crap real quick. I already got my inside trim piece put in here, which is a board. <laughs> Screwed in on this outside, but yeah, this is strong. Now the original fiberglass piece that was went over this, I tried to get it to, to form to fit this. Well, that didn't go quite so well. It uh, it actually tore uh, in two places. So I wasn't too thrilled about that. Uh, I do have another fiberglass piece. It just goes from here and it just comes around. It's basically a front support that goes there. That's all that is. The, there is a metal frame up under here. So all of this is screwed into a metal frame. The front cap, it's screwed into the metal frame. All of this stuff here is is joined together. It's all screwed together. No nails, no staples. Uh, I use good GRK screws. They hold. So let me get some more of this here done and see what it's like once I get uh, further into it. I hey, look at all that rotten junk that I pulled out. Yeah, I understand when they built part of this. That's the top part. And they used two pieces of plywood screwed together. If that was like that, they used two pieces of plywood screwed together like that. Look where the screws are on, right toward the middle. That's just not going to work. This window, I'm getting rid of it. I'm done with it. It's going to give me problems. It's going to leak. So I'm deleting the whole window. I'm going to make it look more modern. So what I did is I went to the metal roofing place. I picked me up two 10 foot pieces of uh, metal roofing here. Non, uh, no grooves in it. Uh, I think this is... 26 I believe I have to look at the paperwork or something like that. It's four dollars a foot for this but I'm just doing away with that whole window the trim This going around the window not the black trim, but the wood that's going around there That's pieces of plywood that I put in there to give me my depth I'm gonna pull all that out Because what I'm gonna do is a solid piece here It's gonna go in there and in the where the window frame itself is I'm going to put one other board to give me a little bit more strength there uh, I've got this torn into this top section here I'm replacing and I'm going to try to replace this section right here I believe that's a metal frame that's right back behind this so I'm going to replace that but what I'm going to do is put a jack in here and kind of raise this thing up just a little bit um, because I have a little bow that's right here so I'm gonna try to jack this up a little bit just to uh, 
if I can jack it up and get it to come up a little bit by the time I put my other board and stuff in there and then I let the jack down hopefully it'll be kind of level that side's low because this board here is rotten but I'm gonna be taking care of that this board here I made and it's gonna be better than what they had let me show you the craftsmanship they did back then and what I think it's stupid okay this is the piece they had in there looks like a tube or two that they bent but still they put two pieces of three quarter inch plywood in there and did it like that uh, I think that's stupid I just used a tube of six and use my jigsaw and cut that one piece out now that will be a lot stronger I will have to drill my holes a little deeper so I can get my screws run into the metal part but at least it's going to be a lot better than what it was so far the little bit that I've done here on this bottom part this thing is a lot stouter so I used a 2 by 6 and I made a pattern and got it screwed down into the metal frame it's liquid nailed down all the boards here that I've got liquid nailed the new board that I put it in all the way across I got liquid nails on that this thing screwed down it ain't going nowhere got my two holes drilled for my clearance lights I'm putting up here got the uh, window completely gone I got another brace in this uh, right in this area because that's where the metal's going to come down and stop and the other piece is going to come in so I've got uh, a brace in there give me something to screw into this is screwed down got a board in here I got to put one little uh, brace here that'll kind of help take a little bit of that there out and it's all ready pretty much to put the metal on all of this here has been uh, use liquid nails hold everything together it's all screwed down real good solid strong so far with all the the wood the plywood down here plywood piece at the top all the two by threes uh, the two two by sixes I've used the metal screws die core sealer or not die core but uh, liquid nails so far I'm $500 into this something like that yeah, it doesn't seem like it, but you let one little thing leak, and that's that's it. Now, I did do a screw up. I was cleaning the metal. You can see a little hole up there where my sanding disc hit that, so I'm going to have to refiberglass that and blend that back in, make that look right. I tell you, I got a little upset with myself on that one. But I'm fixing to put these... Uh, front piece of metal here on it and get it temporary fastened down I gotta trim the corner of this board here just a little bit you can see it's off just a little so I've just got to trim that that's not a biggie uh, you can see this side here lines up good so all my trim that gets screwed into here is going into something solid so it's not going to leak now it's not going to bounce it's not going to vibrate i should have i hate these windows i always hated that window so this was the best time to just eliminate it and be done with it okay as you can tell i have the top piece of metal on here now uh, i already have it my trim ring put up here got sealer up under there these screws here has got the washer on them so they're not gonna leak we had some good rain the other day it didn't leak so I've got to get my other piece of metal up on here 
But first thing I've got to do, I started right over here, is I've got to knock this edge here down a little bit, all the way across. So it's not, the corner is not rubbing on the metal. It's more of a curve to it. Uh, these boards here are just temporary because what I did is I used the uh, 3M uh, M90 spray adhesive on here and these boards here was just stuck in there just to keep this up while all that dried. So now what I got to do, like I said, is get that thing up there done. The grind that down a little bit get my metal under on here and just kind of temporary fasten it up here at the moment so I can come up under here and mark this edge and mark that edge so I can cut me a straight line and then pull it off I got to cut my my length as well I use a factory edge on this side, which is pretty close. Uh, I got this pretty close to being square. This is only, I'm only an eighth inch off of that being square when I put that piece of metal up on the top. Only an eighth of an inch. So I can't really complain about that. You're not going to see it anyway once I put this other piece of trim and stuff here on the front because I have a piece of trim I'm putting between the two pieces there so that's going to be sealed there you're not going to see an eighth inch off difference the trim is going to go over to the side i got the aluminum tape on here right now i put that on there right before it started raining just so i can keep some water out uh, the only place i had a little bit of water coming in was over here uh, but it wasn't wasn't bad at all just a little bit so but it's already dried out so i'm gonna go ahead and get that uh piece up there ground down a little bit get the other piece temporary up there and get my uh length and my width and everything marked out and then i'll turn around and fix it permanently this has kind of been a pain uh we hit a four or five days where it got cold again you know not surprising but anyway i'm getting all of this here done because i'm heading back up to kentucky uh heading up to kentucky probably by the time you see this i'm already on my way but got another solar job up there possibly have two so getting all of that taken care of is my priority so let me get some more done and then I'll kind of show you what I have along the way. Well, I have my insulation in there now. Um, I don't have my clearance lights up yet. I'm going to do them here later. I'm just going to go ahead and get my paneling piece here. Put up in here and get that kind of closed up i've got to get on the road here so i want to go ahead and get this paneling on and then get this uh, finished up on the inside pretty much i can always pull this down i'm just screwing it down i'm not gluing it right now all i'm doing is, is just screwing it and then once i get up to where i need to be then i'll get in and i'll get my clearance lights put in i don't want to drive with the paneling off because even though I've got the insulation, the styrofoam insulation shoved in there tight, I don't want it to fall down. Once I put this on there, if it comes down, that's fine. There's going to be screws in there. It's going to hold it. It's not falling out. But at least that'll help with insulating, sound, and everything else. So I can go ahead and at least get that done. And then later on, i got to build my little front piece up here. I can show you that later on in another video. But at least get this on uh i still have to get some paneling and stuff for the sides i'm not going to worry about that right now uh, that's not i'm not stressed over that because i got to put new paneling on both sides and i'm going to replace part of this paneling up here as well but right now i'm just doing what i have to get done right now to get me on the road 
I'll show you when I get it finished up. Hopefully it don't look too bad. Okay, I got that piece of junk plastic paneling up there. I'm not ever going to use that junk again. That stuff sucks. But I'm leaving it up there for now because it's got to hold my insulation up. So it's up there. I know that looks real tacky. It's wavy and everything else. That's the worst I've ever... I'm just disappointed with that whole look. You can see the wavy. You know, I don't know how well it shows up on the camera. But this looks absolutely horrible. I do not like it. But at least it's holding the insulation in for now while I travel. As you can tell, it's all finished up now. Everything's sealed up. I got my CB antenna mounted up there. I've just got a piece of metal. It's screwed down here on the bottom. And where it touches metal, I've got VHB tape. I didn't want to put no screw holes in there. So I got my antenna mounted up there for my CB. But it's all done. It's all finished up. I'm glad it doesn't leak. It's definitely cooler up there. I don't have no squeaks or nothing like what I had before. So it's definitely worth the time that i spent doing that i like it it gives it more of a modern look i'm happy it's done by the time you see this i'm already up here in kentucky right now i have jobs lined up here in kentucky toledo ohio murfreesboro tennessee myrtle beach south carolina so if you're anywhere along that way or anywhere close let me know anywhere in that area even if you're a few hundred miles away let me know see what we can do about trying to get your job scheduled for you you can also check me out on patreon i'll put a link down below you can get early access to videos patreon only stuff that you will not see here on youtube also down below the video i have my merchandise for sale check it out t-shirts hats hoodies carry bags got it all down there check it out buy some stuff help support the channel questions comments please like and subscribe give me a thumbs up i will see you all in the next video